Why was there such a significant increase in firearms background checks in March 2020? According to statistics published by the FBI, March 2020 saw the highest ever number of NICS firearms background checks performed, at 3,740,688, an increase of 33% from February. The FBI itself notes that this does not equate to a one-to-one -one correlation to the number of gun sales that have taken place, but it is at least a rough indicator that the number of gun sales has also seen a large increase. This trend held true in practically every state of the U.S., with the exception of Kentucky. What are the political factors which have led to such a large increase? Clearly, as the main news story currently is the COVID-19 pandemic, it seems likely that this has had an effect, but it's unclear to me why this would lead to such a higher rate of gun background checks, purchases, especially as lockdowns start to reduce footfall at non-private sales locations. Hashtag there's a lot of panicked buying going on in general. It's become a joke how much people are hoarding toilet paper in the US, in particular, it wasn't hard to find before this. But hoarding things is part of a broader issue, emphasis mine. Australia has also suffered from panic buying of toilet paper despite plentiful domestic supply. A risk expert in the country explained it this way, stocking up on toilet paper is a relatively cheap action, and people like to think that they are doing something when they feel at risk. This is an example of zero-risk bias, in which people prefer to try to eliminate one type of possibly superficial risk entirely rather than do something that would reduce their total risk by a greater amount. Hoarding also makes people feel secure. This is especially relevant when the world is faced with a novel disease over which all of us have little or no control. However, we can control things like having enough toilet paper in case we are quarantined. Hashtag guns still mean security to a lot of people. Guns are still a powerful way to protect oneself, and more than a few people fear social breakdown, despite the fact that no place in the U.S. has suspended their police force due to the pandemic, nor are there widespread shortages of police. As such, people want weapons to stop intruders. Hyatt said that the type of guns being bought was reflective of the fear prevalent among customers. There was almost no interest in hunting rifles. Instead, people were opting for target guns and there was big demand for R-15 semi-automatic assault-style rifles. Asked why he thought the spike was happening, Hyatt replied, financial meltdown, pandemic, crime, politics, you throw it all into the pot, and you have one hell of a mess.